Hi, it's Matthew Matt here to talk to you about multiple strategies involving fraction problems. This question comes from my friend Emily. They like the multiple strategies in the Carry the One video, and if I've done this correctly, that should be showing up for you as a link if you want to check it out. After that video, Emily is wondering what strategies they were missing out on when it comes to fractions and decimals. Before I get into my answer, I want to say that this is a great question. To me, it's a mathematician's question because it's about making connections across different areas of math. A mathematician isn't happy just solving a problem. They love to ask what's next, and that's what this question is to me. This is also a really big question, which makes it great for exploring. We'll just get the conversation started today. I did want to say a little bit about fractions and the standards. They show up in the Common Core in first grade, and even younger kids can work on them a lot of the time. They continue to develop through middle school in the standards, but they're important and challenging well into high school. Unfortunately, because of how fractions are typically taught, they're often a stumbling block for kids. But the good news is that they don't have to be. All right, let's try out a problem. In this problem, you're doing a walkathon for the local food pantry, and you're logging laps on a track. In case you don't know, a walkathon is a type of fundraiser. You get donations from people based on how far you go. And you might do it on a track like this one. So in this story, you're working to raise money for the food pantry, which gives food to people who need it. Your goal is to do a total of four miles, and on this track, each lap is one-third of a mile. Let's see what that looks like. Here's our track, and here's you at the starting line. As you go around the track one time, you've traveled a total of one-third of a mile. So the question we want to figure out is, how many laps do you need to meet your goal? If you want, now would be a great time to pause the video and work a little bit on your own. If you can figure out the answer, that's fine, but if not, that's fine too. Focus on making sure you understand the story. Can you explain it in your own words? Can you draw a picture of what's happening? If you solve it in one way, see if you can come up with a second strategy. Whatever you figure out or don't figure out is great. All right, so how did you think about this problem? Let's look at a few possibilities that I thought you might have used. I almost always draw a picture as one of my first strategies. It really helps me think about what's going on. So maybe you do, drew a number line going from zero miles to four miles, and then you subdivided those into thirds because each lap is only one third of a mile. And finally, you could have counted the number of laps it took to go the whole distance. Or maybe you drew your miles as rectangles instead, and then subdivided and count the number of pieces you had. Instead, maybe you added your laps as you went. So you might have thought, well, my first lap would be one-third of a mile, and then if I do another lap, that'll be two-thirds of a mile, and another lap will be one whole mile. Then you kept going like that until you got all the way up to four miles, which was your goal. Then, to figure out how many laps it was, you could have counted all the thirds that you added to find out that it took 12 laps. Or you might have thought of it something like this. Well, I know it's going to take three laps to go one mile, and I need, to, I need to do that four times to get up to four miles, so I can do four times three to get 12 laps. These are all great strategies. Do you remember at the beginning how I said Emily asked a mathematician's question because mathematicians love to ask what's next? These are not the only strategies. See if you can come up with any others. Or look back at these three strategies and think about what's the same about them and what's different about them. That really helps think about the big ideas behind that's going on in the problem. All right, I want to leave you with something to work on for next time. I would love it if you'd send me your strategies for one or all of these problems. Even if you get stuck, I'd still love to hear about your thinking. If I get some responses, I'll make a video talking about them. The three problems I want to leave you with are you're making bows out of ribbon and you have six feet of ribbon. Each bow takes one-fifth of a foot of ribbon. How many bows can you make? You're going on a hike. Each day you need to drink two-thirds of a bottle of water. You can carry four bottles of water with you. How many days can you hike? There are three friends. They want to share one half of a sheet of brownies. How much will each friend get? Have an adult send a picture you're thinking to me at matthematfk at gmail.com. See you next time.